Hello, John Neal here, sign writer, chalkboard artist, and this time I'm going to talk to you about handwriting. A number of people say that their handwriting is not very good, in fact people don't handwrite a huge amount now, since people don't write letters and put them through the post. So I thought I'd give you some ideas as to how I think handwriting might be taught or write better. I have taught for many years as a school teacher and handwriting was one of the things I taught. And, but there is a slight difference between teaching children how to handwrite and adults. I was much inspired recently by going to Art in Action. If you look that up on the internet, fascinating stuff of what happens at this uh, four day arts festival, including a lot of calligraphy. Absolutely wonderful to watch other people work. Um, very, very interesting time there. Okay, calligraphy, handwriting, lettering, they're all more or less the same sort of thing, but really handwriting is more of an everyday thing. Calligraphy as such is, you could say, almost more painstaking, but handwriting ought to be a little more fluid. And in fact, I'm going to use only a pencil to start with. Um, I do have a very nice pen, which I bought at Art in Action, and it's got a lovely italic nib to it. So there are other instruments you can use, but the main idea is it comes from uh, just using a pencil. And uh, there are a couple of things to get right first, uh, but we'll talk about those in a moment. Oh, don't forget uh, the website. The video is uh, d as a download, and you will take it as a download and buy it as such. It's flying off its digital shelf somewhere in the ether. So uh, thank you very much for those who are buying it. And uh, if you want to buy it and haven't bought one already, there are two of them, of course to do with uh, chalkboard artwork, then just go to my website, which of course is that. Okay, right, let's get handwriting. Let's talk about handwriting. There's some nice handwriting. It's a friend of mine, Victor, uh, who I've known for many years and one of my mentors in lettering and handwriting. <clears throat> if you see what looks attractive about it, it's first of all it's legible and there's a sort of rhythm to it which is uh, good to see and there's consistency also so it's carefully done but there is also the, this height of the same of the letters and the way that they slope forward is very consistent too. So people ask me <clears throat> uh, the, how to write better they say oh my handwriting is terrible so there's a couple of things I'd like to just mention about handwriting. Now I have taught children handwriting and that is a different issue really than teaching it to adults and I'm really aiming this at adults. Uh, I think the th first thing to say is the way that you sit. You sit yourself well on the, on the seat, be relaxed, get your feet on the floor, flat. It's part of, there's an Eastern tradition about calligraphy of it being a sort of a, a spiritual, soulful thing to do. And I think that is very true. So make yourself nice and comfortable and relax. Secondly, I'm going to use just a pencil to start with. No fancy pens, just a pencil. And the way you hold it is so that it's fairly loose, not tight in your fingers like this. I see people do this, I see people do this or this. Uh, even people hold it like that. Well, that is just impossible. You cannot write well holding your pen like that or pencil. Uh, I, all right, there are some calligraphers who use brushes who hold them in a particular way. For, but for handwriting with a pen or pencil, you need to hold it rather like this with your three fingers really on the three sides of the pencil. Okay. 
And I think the main thing about handwriting is the rhythm of the speed at which it's done and also the, the direction that each of these take. They're slightly forward of the line so it looks as if they are moving in this direction. If you were to draw a car and you wanted to indicate that it was going forwards um, you might well lean it and, and wheels like that so it looked like it was going that direction so if it's going that way you tend to put wheels like that and it, the basic shape of many of the letters is this O so an A B C D they've all got this O shape so if you can practice the O if nothing more a lot of it will fit around there so <clears throat> Um, I've done a fancy looking H there, but if we look at the speed, uh, the, the main thing I would say is hold the pen correctly, sit well, and then when you write, keep it consistent as you can, and take time on each of the letters like this, and you'll notice I stop. Before I make each of the moves. If you just continually go round and round and round, they tend to be a bit of a block. So get the rhythm right, get this O element correct, and then try and get the, the lines down. So if you're doing M, N, B, Q, T, with straight letters here, get that nice and consistent. Like I hope you can see the way that my hand works you get these lines consistent by the way you hold the pencil and work with it. And then of course so many of the letters, as I've just said, will fit around this O shape. And sometimes you'll even see it, I'll show you with a bigger pen in a moment, they seem to take on that sort of shape. In fact my friend here Victor has done that. I noticed just here and here you can see the A almost as a flat top, a straight there, and then back up again. But it's a beautiful handwriting, and it, that naturally comes out of what we're doing. And the other thing to remember is that the shapes of the letters ought to be correct. Um, for instance, the F here. Uh, I would just simply do that. This letter F, I was taught as a child to do it like this which I just do not like at all. You lose the chance of, in fact, of doing that nice tail at the end. And the B sometimes is left open. And I don't like doing B like that. I'd go this way. Right, the um, other thing is I was going to mention is the letter E. Now an E, you might think, just goes round following this oval shape, as I pointed out. But uh, with a thicker pen, it's difficult sometimes pushing up against the pen. So you'll find that sometimes the E starts at the top, comes down, goes back to the top, and finishes off there. That gives you an opportunity, since you've finished there, to sometimes do a line coming out. Right, let me move on to this pen. This is one I did buy on the calligrapher's tent. In uh, Actually, it, was in the, it wasn't a clue, it was a pen maker. But it's a, a wide nib, as you can see. So when I hold it like this and go this way it goes thin and that way it goes thick just as one of these much bigger calligraphy pens from uh, will go thin that way and thick that way but this pen is rather nice and uh, let's just see how it goes so I'll just do an H quite straightforwardly there's a nice drag to it as well Right, now I've done that, let's do this H with a bit more of a flourish. I would suggest that if you're going to do big flourishes, only put them on capital letters. Mm. 
and if you're going to do a, a string of a, a capital letters like let's say handwriting in capitals like this for some reason be careful you don't put too many flourishes on them in fact if you do every one with a huge flourish you'll end up being unable to read it so you might do that but then keep the others very very clear now then let's take since that goes down there let's put the W up there possibly that there the rest keep nice and clear okay so let's do one more piece for you I'll do the The quick brown fox, should we do that? All the letters of the alphabet in one sentence. Thank you. Well, there we are then, handwriting. Uh, uh, let me see how you get on. Do have a practice and uh, let me know how it goes. It does take practice um, and uh, try and look out for some decent handwriting uh, examples for you to follow. But uh, I hope that's helpful. And um, oh, I was going to say, the uh, subject often comes up about handwriting and letters because we use so much email nowadays. People don't tend to write letters. And if the subject is on our local radio, I'm once or twice already I've sat down, written a note saying, yes, people do use email a lot and they handwrite, but, and here's the handwriting. I'd write it on a piece of paper, photograph it, and then text it to the radio station so they get a handwritten letter, even though it's done via text. Still, it's nice to handwrite, particularly for invitations and Christmas cards and... Uh, the addresses on envelopes always look nice when it's handwritten, even if you don't write, write a full letter. But uh, let me know how you get on. Handwriting. Love it. Great. Bye-bye. See you again next time. <laughs>